Hi guys, Mike here again. Wanted to catch up with you today around the topic of discipleship. Uh, the word for disciple in the New Testament uh, means learner or pupil. And I want to touch today on three categories of learners or pupils. There's the curious disciple in John 8.31. Uh, to the Jews who believed him, Jesus said, if you hold to my teaching, you are really my disciples. Um, and what happens is you get the curious disciple, then you get the convinced disciple. Uh, they're all going to be seized. So, um, and a convinced disciple is one who accepts that what Jesus has said about himself is true. Uh, in John 2.11, it says this, the first of his miraculous signs, uh, many believed in him. In John 6.6, 6, 6, 6, um, because of a hard teaching, many of the disciples deserted him. They were convinced of what he did, but they weren't committed to what he did. And that's the third one. So you've got the curious disciple, the convinced disciple, and the committed disciple. And that's someone who's willing to follow Jesus no matter what. Um, they identify with him. And, you know, the significant thing about Jesus is this, is he was rejected. So uh, a committed disciple is willing to be rejected. In John 6, 67, 69, he said, Do you want to leave me as well? Jesus asked the twelve, and Simon Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. We have come to believe and to know that you are the Holy One of God. So Peter and the other ten disciples started out being curious. They became convinced, and then they committed themselves to Christ. I hope that helps. Bless you heaps.